तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स मूंग दाल का हलवा खा लो आ करो Hey guys and Satsrika My name is Mani Mera naam Abby Te eda farmer da naam hega Noah <laughs> Doesn't he look like a cute little farmer guys <laughs> He does Hana <laughs> And together guys we are the modern sings Today guys we are back in the kitchen as the other day we recorded a video with mom what are we making again Pindiya di sabji Haan ji Haan ji bahut swasti So if you guys have been following us for a while you would know that we love to make Sweet Indian dishes. So today we are making. Ki bana rahe baba? Mung dal ka halwa. Haan ji, mung dal ka halwa, guys. So if you live anywhere in the world where it's cold, trust me, you guys would want to make this because it will fill your tummy up and it will keep you warm. Even if you have it in summer, it doesn't matter. But if you have it in a place where it's cold, trust me. It's really simple, guys. There's not many ingredients in it at all. So let's get started. Let's get started, yeah. Chalo fir chaliye. पापी टापा क्यों नोज माद टापा नोज माद टापा सो गाइस दीज आर ऑल द इंग्रेडिएंट्स वी नीड फॉर इट राइट हियर एज आई सेड रियली नॉट मेनी एट ऑल सो वी हैव आई एम गोना ट्राई टू से देम इन इंग्लिश एंड इन पंजाबी बट आई मे मेस इट अप ओके सो वी हैव मिल्क व्हिच इज दूध घी व्हिच लाइक दिस इज लाइक प्योरिफाइड बटर क्लैरिफाइड बटर आई थिंक इन इंग्लिश हां जी we have the moong which i think are like lentils right it's lentils. lentils it's lentils dal but it's moong dal i know like if you're english you're going to be like ooh lentils and a sweet trust me okay trust me on this then we have sugar which is chini we have lachi powder which is cardamom powder hanji and we have so different kinds of nuts in here you can add any kind of nuts or fruit or whatever you want really it's just like a little garnish and some texture throughout it So we have chosen almonds, cashews and walnuts. Walnuts. Badam, kaju and I actually don't know. I have no idea what walnuts is either. Guys, if you know what walnuts is in Punjabi, please comment below kyunki mainu nahi pata walnut nu Punjabi vich ki kehnde ne. I don't know. Walnuts nu ki kehnde yaar Punjabi vich walnuts, walnuts, walnuts. Yaar mainu tatcha, mainu tatcha hi kehnde hunde ki eh kha le. Hana oh kehnde hunde ki eh kha le mani hun mainu yaad nahi aa rahi ki ya. Okay, I don't know what they are, baby. So we're gonna put Noah in his high chair, guys. Thank God for our kitchen. We've got a nice little pathway, so he can roam around with us, and we'll give him some treats. Okay? Andy. Chala ya, bae ya apni gaddi je. The first step, guys, we're gonna take the mung dal and we're going to wash it, make sure it's nice and clean, so none of that dirt gets into your food. So you're gonna want to take about a cup of them. And just rinse it with water until it gets like less cloudy. That's all. Sorry, I had to put in a bigger bowl. That bowl was just way too small for this. But as you can see, it's so cloudy. So they've got all that starch and dirt in there. So. Yes. <laughs> okay, True. Noah. हाँ जी लाइट आ सो गाइस जिद्दा होना अपन नॉन नया होने होना स्वेरे या उठ के होना अपन दाल नू बस नू आ रहे हैं. We're just basically giving the dal a wash, guys, three, four times until that water is all nice and clear. Okay. I think that's good now. Now, guys, we are going to roast them. <laughs> like I roast you. Come, try me. Go. Give okay. me a roast. Okay. Um. Uh. Damn, this is hard. How did the chicken cross the road? With the legs. Huh? With its legs, this is so hard. Did you get where I was going with my joke? Yeah, like how did the chicken cross the road? Because he wanted to be roasted. With his chicken legs. <gasps> oh! You you just you just go, <laughs> just go in that corner, go in that corner, babe. Well, how about you go to the sunlight? You might get a bit tan. <laughs> There we go. There's the roast. There's the roast. <laughs> For those who did not understand Abby's roast towards me, basically I've got chicken legs. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Man, she's so mean. So guys, um you're going to need two pans overall and some ghee for the frying part, but we'll just put that smaller one aside for now. We don't really need it. Chute, mate, khand kyo? 
I don't even think that's the lyrics. So I've just added in the mung dal to the fry pan. I'm just gonna dry roast them, nothing else in the fry pan, just them for about five minutes or until they're golden brown. We wanna get them nice and crispy because we're gonna grind them into a powder. So I'll show you what they look like. And now we just wait. We just wait. So guys, I think it's about finished now. They look a little bit more golden and you can tell because they're hard and fully dry. So that's exactly what we want. Mm. So I'm just gonna put them back in to that bowl that I have in before. And we're just gonna let them cool in there before we start grinding them into a powder. He doesn't like Gidda. No, you don't like Gidda. <laughs> don't blame it on him. See, you like Gidda. Yeah. <laughs> So you want to grind it yeah, until it's like a nice fine powder, which this is. So now it's time to roast it again. <laughs> so I'm just going to add in about three or four tablespoons of ghee for frying. If you really don't like ghee, which like understandable, you can use yeah like butter, oil, whatever you think. I just think ghee adds a bit more flavor. And we're gonna add this in and we're gonna fry it again until it's about golden brown, which should take about, again, five minutes or so before we add in our other ingredients. All right guys, so as you can see, it's like a nice like darker golden brown now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the milk, so you're gonna add in about two cups of milk, uh, full fat milk, and about one cup of water as well. So while we do that, we're gonna turn down the heat a lot as well, because you want it to kind of cook away slowly. So now. basically like simmering. Yes, exactly. So. Do you know what mummy Like mum makes this sweet called dalia. Mm. It tastes so nice. I should ask her the recipe for that. It looks like that. Mm. It's very yum. What is it made from? I'm not sure. I just eat it. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> and just remember guys to keep stirring this throughout it because you don't want to get it lumpy. So you want it to kind of stay consistent. So just keep on stirring it. So please be careful. <laughs> not to ruin your delicious delicacy of a dish. <laughs> Does that sound okay? Yeah. I've never used that word before. Aww. So guys, we're just gonna roast the nuts now. So we're just gonna add in a little bit of ghee again. And I'm just gonna add them all in together. So again, you can use like raisins, you can use like dried, any dried fruits, any nuts you want, like just literally anything. Whatever you desire. Whatever you desire. So guys, as you can see, this is ready now. It's nice and dense and thick. And the dried fruits are all done as well. Sorry, dried nuts. So we put a little bit aside to garnish on the top of it when that's done. So for right now guys though, we're gonna add in one cup of sugar to this, which is what makes it nice and sweet. So as you can see guys, the sugar is sitting nicely in there now. And then I'm also going to add in these dried nuts. So I think I put aside about half a cup of ghee, but I actually really don't think that we need that much. So no. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of mm. it. I think that much is That's perfect. perfect eh? And then we're also gonna add in some cardamom powder, guys. I think I put in about two to three teaspoons in here as well of cardamom powder. I love cardamom, guys, so you don't have to add in that much if you're not a big cardamom person, but I love I mean, if you wanna add in more, it's up to you as well. As much as you want, yeah. So I've just turned up the heat a little bit, guys, just because we had it on literally like <laughs> nothing. Um, so I'm just gonna stir it and keep cooking it for another few minutes and then that's it done. Damn, that was that's so it. quick. Yeah. Honestly guys, that looks amazing. The kitchen smells amazing and I can't wait to taste it because I'm sure it's gonna be tasting amazing as well. Let's hope so. I love you so much. I love you too. You make the best food. Nah, mom does. So this is the final result guys. Here is mung dal ka halwa. That honestly looks amazing, babe. Wow. Oh First time doing it, and it turned out amazing. It actually turned out better than I was expecting. I was a bit worried. I'm not worried. You've been so successful ever. You're, Ma, gonna, Ma, have Ma. It. You're gonna have it, my little lover. You're gonna have it. How does it taste? Mm. 
does it taste? Bariya ji ka, yummy. Okay, so Noah loves it, guys. So it's my turn to try it. Well, before I try it, you know I have to offer you guys some. So hello, friends. Mung dal ka halwa khalo, akaro ah. Mmm, mmm. My God, that is so yum. That actually is really good. Wow. I'm glad we added in that lechi powder. Mm. It changes it the, the whole, whole game flavor. up. Yeah. Damn, that tastes so good. But if you guys do try it, let us know. Tag mm. us on Instagram, something like that. Send us some photos. <laughs> and if Sun is making a mess. And do let us know, guys, what else you want us to cook. Would you guys like to see money cook something? Maybe something Scottish, something mm. British. Let us know. Would you Andy, like Andy, to see Andy. it? <laughs> and always remember, guys, to see this video.